Hello, my name is Jorge Sanchez. I'm a uh, contractor, also a home inspector. I'm also the president and manager of a company called Terrenovo Properties. We buy very distressed homes, homes that are in bad shape. We fix them. What has working with Rick and his team meant for me, it, it means peace of mind. That's the most important thing. I know that with Rick and Aracelis and the other people here that I'm going to get what they offer. There will be no negative surprises. They're by the book. They're straightforward. They do what they can and they let me know what they cannot do and they, they, keep, uh, they keep to the book. They keep to the script. That, that to me is very important because uh, I can go to sleep on what they're, they're offering me. With Rick and his team, I have been involved in flipping houses. Basically, they finance houses, they provide me with funds so that I can make all cash, very competitive all cash offers. I have the, the, the financing for that through them. And now I'm talking to them about doing a low-cost income housing project. They're obtaining financing and, and investors for a low-income housing project in Puerto Rico, where, as you may know, uh, there's a shortage of about 50 to 100,000 homes. And I have the land, I have the permits. I'm looking for the investors for that. What is my favorite deal? Uh, there's no question about this one. It was uh, a house in Winter Springs. When I finished the house, I was approached by a hedge fund who wanted to buy the house all cash. They also wanted to buy a couple other houses I had. They were in turn, were, had entered into a transaction to rent it to an individual named Roger. We'll call him Roger, that's not his real name. What happened was that at the last minute, the hedge fund came back and wanted to renegotiate the deal, wanted to drop the price. I expected that since I spent three decades in Wall Street beforehand. So I said no. The problem was that, that Roger didn't have a place to live and his family, and they were living in a hotel waiting for the transaction to close. So Ro Roger and I set up um, a rental agreement on a one page and a handshake. A year and a half later, after an extraordinary friend, uh, friendship and uh, tenant and landlord relationship, he bought the house. And he was happy, I was happy, and I got myself a very good friend named Roger. But the biggest payouts I've had on deals are in the order of about 45%. And there are a couple of transactions where we were able to do the house very quickly, very effectively. And uh, fortunately, the virus showed up very quickly. The best advice is to know that this is the United States of America and it's very, very competitive. There are a lot of very talented, very experienced people out here doing you know, everything. And you have to be prepared for that. There are a lot of Latin Americans, including many friends of mine who want to start doing flipping business. Uh, what they have to realize that they have no advantage here as they may have had in their, in their respective countries. So they're going to be subject to the full force of American competition. They better get prepared. The fastest turnout in a deal was when we bought a house, remodeled it, and sold it on the first day that we put it on the market. It took about two and a half months. When I started in this business, I decided to have various mentors before I bought my first house. And I, I decided to be prepared. So my first mentor was the school that I went to to get my contractor's license. Uh, there I had the mentors who were the teachers. Then I hired this engineering friend of mine. Then I also talked to other people that I knew were in the business, for example, real estate people that, that could give me some advice. So by the time I bought my first house, I had already had a great deal of, uh, of experience gained from the experience of other, of other people, from my mentors.